always freaking ask myself, how is it possible that French people, and especially Italian people, are staying so fit and lean while they're eating only pasta and such a big amount of cheese every day and drinking so much red wine? This is so freaking unfair. Okay, <laughs> hello guys. My name is Eva, and today we're going to talk about the Mediterranean diet. If you asked at least once in your life yourself a question, how French people can stay so lean and so fit, how Italian people can stay so fit while eating this humongous amount of pasta. Well, today we're going to discuss the pros and cons of the Mediterranean diet. We're going to also talk about some common myths and debunk them. And we're going to also discuss why Mediterranean diet is actually the guardian angel of your good heart function. Are you with me? Let's go. So basically French people, Italian people, Greek people, especially the ones that live on the south, has freaking cracked the system of food. That's for sure. So let's debunk some common myths that are existed about the Mediterranean diet and let's discuss them together. So the first one, it's a low carb and low fat diet. Mm -mm. It's actually really high fat and high carb, not even diet, but more of a lifestyle because I'm going to more employ the term lifestyle <laughs> and not the term of a diet because a diet is very restricted on a period of time. Otherwise, the lifestyle is actually what you are practicing all over your life. So it's very important to maintain those kind of standards. And remember, it's never about getting lean or getting fit in one of two weeks. It's always about a lifestyle and your choice of certain foods. So the first myth is that this kind of lifestyle is very low carb and very low fat. Well, it's basically not true because you are literally consuming olive oil, which is pure fat, but attention, good fat. We're going to discuss about it a bit later. And also the whole grains, the whole rice, the whole pasta thing. Everything is about a very good quality carbohydrates. So this diet is lifestyle far from being a low carb and low fat diet. The other one is this diet is very expensive. Well, let me tell you something. This diet was born as a peasant diet for people who were living on the south and who were living on the, let's say, west coast, right? So the thing is that people who are right now in, living in some large cities such as Paris, New York, or LA are, of course, assuming that this diet can be very expensive. But if you go to Greece and if you compare the cost of this diet comparison to some very expensive raw meat or something like this in France, this diet is going to be not very expensive. So it's really dependent on which area and which continent are you living. So basically this diet of this lifestyle is just about enjoying the food, enjoying the life. The most important thing that you have to interfere inside of your beautiful head over there it's the fact that this diet was born on the sea what do we have on the sea we have pleasure we have waves we have the sun and by the way let's talk about the sun how our body reacts to the sun we are secreting some vitamin d vitamin d it's very important because it's the pre cursor of the tryptophan which is actually a protein which is herself a precursor of the secretion of the serotonin, which is by definition the hormone of happiness. So basically, let me simplify it for you. Sun equal happiness. As simple as that. So basically, is this only the influence of the sun and of the happiness of a lifestyle that makes all the French and Italians and Greek people thin? Let's talk about the pros and cons of the Mediterranean diet. So the Mediterranean diet is supposed to be the guardian angel of all the heart disease. Well, it's basically true because of the all amount of very good quality fat, the omega-3 and the antioxidants that are present in all these various <laughs> types of food that are included in the Mediterranean lifestyle. You have a very low significance on the heart diseases. So there is a potential decrease of the risk of heart diseases. Apparently, the Mediterranean diet has a big impact on the longevity. Legitimately, so basically the amount of time that you're going to live on this beautiful earth. Hello, my beautiful friends. So basically the healthy fats reduces inflammation and reduces the chronic diseases, which is very important and crucial for a very long aging person. The antioxidants preserve the cells in self and actually preserve them to aging. So it's basically like an anti-aging effect. The lipo vitamins are D, E, and K, and hydrophil 
vitamin C as well as vitamin E are actually very strong antioxidants that helps for the good function of your brain. The cons, well guys, the preparation time. Be ready to wake up the inner chef into your beautiful bodies because uh, sometimes the Mediterranean dishes takes a bit of a longer time to cook. And actually, if you want me to do a cooking video about some of the Mediterranean dishes, just leave me in the comments down below your suggestions and I will be more than happy to cook with you together. So let's dig a bit into science. Why the Mediterranean diet is like a superhero rocking like a superman on this beautiful field for people who have heart diseases. Let's bunk into the science. So some studies have proven that the healthy fats, such as olive oil, helps to reduce LDL cholesterol and to lower your triglyceride level. And this way to preserve your beautiful cells and your beautiful vessel from being stuck with some bad cholesterol. And so it's a very good prevention of heart diseases. Omega-3 or fish fat reduces the inflammation and so reduces the risk of abnormal heart rhythm. Antioxidants, vitamin antioxidants such as E and C as my initials, what's up baby, help to prevent blood vessels from damage. Moreover, antioxidants are present in fiber. Okay, so all this color over there are full of antioxidants, but also this beautiful tomato and this beautiful salad and this beautiful courgette is full of fiber. Such as every vegetable and such as every whole grain seed, especially the nuts and especially the whole grain pasta, etc., have a very high source of fiber. And the fiber are basically a, a super power micronutrient. The thing is that they lower down the absorption of the LDL, which is the bad cholesterol in your tooth and they permit not to be absorbed. So basically it's like a prevention of the bad cholesterol. Let's not forget about the nuts who are very included in the Mediterranean diet. So the nuts have this amazing molecular, which is the sterols. It's like a veggie cholesterol and this veggie cholesterol has this power to decrease the absorption of the LDL so the bad cholesterol in our blood in our vessels so let's kill the bad by the bad <laughs> who knew that actually the vegetarian cholesterol could kill the animal cholesterol food is magic and you know it so now you know all the secrets how the Mediterranean diet can be a prevention of health diseases can be a prevention of inflammation can be a prevention of oxidation of the cells can be actually a very good prevention of uh, gaining weight because the fiber as i keep saying this in my videos keep you full for a longer period of time so you don't feel ravish and hungry after eating a very big salad with some fat fish don't forget the, about the omega-3 and the olive oil who are not low fat but are very important for your heart health guys i'm very happy it's to just communicate with you on a daily basis and uh, to keep the communication between us. So I will be more than ravaged if you share some ideas about the video that I can do further on my YouTube channel. And I'll be more than happy if you like and subscribe to my channel and ring the little bell over here. I'm new on YouTube, so I'm just learning. So you can see all the new upgrades about my video. Bisous, bisous, et à bientôt. Et surtout, bon appétit! <laughs>